Welcome to the Panic Button. I'm Nina, and today we're reacting to police found out what he did to his own children. This is a cop cam video, and we're going to watch it. Here we go. There's been some issues in the area with some stolen vehicles and some burglaries and some other stuff. Okay. So that's he why he just got home from school. He's been here, and he literally just left, like, maybe five minutes ago to go up to Miller Park. Okay. So, all right. Are you Michelle? You go by Michelle? Holy sh**. That is a short dress. On purpose, I'm sure. On purpose, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, hope you're tucking, sir, because uh, your little ding -a -ling might slip out and expose itself. But maybe, maybe that's the plan. Maybe that was the, the plan all along. You go by. Michelle. Okay, all right. Michelle, I need to let you know that you have a warrant for your arrest. Okay, okay. why don't you step down here for me? We'll get you some uh, shoes, okay? What do I have a warrant for? Oh, you have a warrant for criminal sex. Surprise, surprise, predatory assault against his own kid. Yeah, I said it. Ugh. I mean, are we surprised now? Are we surprised? When you see guys like this, you see that they're not trying to pass. That they remind you of Lily Tino or Jeffrey Marsh or any of these guys that give you the creeps. There's a reason for it usually. I mean, this man just walking around like this would scare children. And let her know that Eight. because my shades come home and get my son. Yep. What's, what's her number? I can get it for you right there. Hold on, let me double lock these. Okay. Step forward for me. Just a yep. second. There you go. Yep. Paul Long was in half one in custody. So this guy has a wife. I really have to ask, what woman would stay with this? Really, what woman would stay with this? You, you got together with a man, you had a kid with a man, and for some reason he decides to be a woman. And it's it's not because it's not because he's uh he's actually trans, it's because he has paraphilias and kinks and fetishes and he wants to act that out by being a woman. Also, predators will dumb themselves down and make themselves look more threatening to children by looking like women. They do this, yes. Yeah, I don't know how. Um, you just fight yeah, and then you can hit the middle piece. Yep, right there. Right there. No, no, you were on it. Right there. And then hit my love. Look for my... Oh, that one? Yep. And then call. So you're going to put it on speaker. Yeah, speaker. You want to bring my car around? Yeah. So was it really break-ins, or is that a shit story? No, that's a story. Yeah, I figured. So the cops tried to get him out of the house. So they got him out of the house by using a fake story in order to make the arrest. Like, hey, we need to talk to you. There were some break-ins happening and just to get him out of the house. And then once they got him out of the house, they could put him under arrest by B for, for being a... So, go ahead and just take a seat for me, okay? Let me call you right No, now. I'm getting arrested. Take a seat. Why? For that sh Take a seat. I'm trying to see you. what? You're on speaker, okay? This is Sergeant Shively with the Bloomington Police Department. Hi. So, Michelle Michelle has a warrant for criminal assault. So, she's she's going to be going to the county jail. Why is she... Oh, I hate when they do this. When they use the pedophile's preferred pronouns, I get a big problem with that. Big problem with that. Why, if someone is doing something to harm children, why would you respect them enough to use the pronouns that they prefer, that they used in order to prey on children? I'm just wondering, like, why the world, why is, why is America so fucked up? Why is the world so fucked up that this is okay? It's totally okay to use the preferred pronouns of a file, man. Gross. People are Crazy. Why is she getting arrested? There's been like nothing. Okay, I'm just letting Nobody. you know. L listen for me, okay? Oh my god. Okay, so this woman obviously doesn't believe that he could do anything wrong. Heaven forbid the trans did something wrong. That would never happen. No, they're they're amazing people. They they have problems, okay? They do not know what they do. Yeah, they fucking do. I'm letting you know that there was a warrant issued today. We are the middle. We are the middleman. I don't know anything about the case. We just go ahead and serve the warrants. Okay? So I'm letting you know that she's going to be going to the county jail. Okay, where do I need to go? Well, you need to get Brayden. 
He's gonna be home. Where's Michael needs to come home now. Where's Michael at? He sh he was uh, going to Miller Park. That's who you guys ran into. Okay. So do you have Michael's phone number? Yeah. Why don't you call? Why don't you make that your first priority? Call Michael and go pick him up. Unless how old is Michael? Michael is fifteen. Okay, so can Michael just come back to the house and be by himself? Yeah, he can watch him. He can watch him both. Yes. Okay. Well, there's more than one child, so he's got other kids. And if he's doing that to one of them, he's definitely doing that to the other ones. Or he's thinking about it. Gross. So, why don't you just call Michael and tell Michael to come back home, and then that way you know where he's at. Okay. Okay. Do you have any? I mean, I know you got a lot of questions, but unfortunately, I don't have a lot of answers for you. Call Dad. Call Brian. And okay. and and um um. Okay. So um, I need to get you some shoes. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna walk in. Okay. So grab the heels. We can get you some shoes. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm gonna hang up the phone. Okay, ma'am. So where do I need to go? Honestly, there's there's no there's nowhere to go. Do I have a bond at all? Yeah. Well, your warrant is a million dollars. His warrant is a million dollars. Oh, this mother did something real heinous, real heinous. A million dollars. Holy sh! What the f did he do? Whatever it was, it was bad enough to warrant that. And there'll be some. She'll be able to make some phone calls. Call okay. Dad, call Brian. Okay. Okay. All right, even my phone here. Okay. That way you have the number, because I don't think you have Brian's number. It's in my phone. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, I'm going to hang up the phone now. Okay. So, you we can walk to the... Yeah, right there. I don't know if you knew. I didn't... Yeah. Okay. Can uh, you help me out? Yeah, we'll walk to the door, and then we'll just get whatever's there, okay? Because I don't want to dig around anything. No, it's like, not my intention. Like right there. They're like right there. Okay. Well, let me, what are they? Mm, shoes. Well, do you, can you describe them for me, and I'll just grab them? I don't know. Okay, let's They're walk like up. Literally right inside the door here. Literally right. Then inside. we'll put your phone inside. I'm trying to ask Miles if he needs the phone. Hey, do you need the phone? Does not. Okay, never mind. All right, cool. All right. Dogs are waving their front doors locked up. So, right. which one? How much you want to bet he kind of looks like his wife? Right or not? You're telling my, so my oldest gets here. Is that Michael? Yeah. Wait till he gets here. That way my, my, cause I don't, my other son's going to be getting here like any minute off the bus. Cause it's what, 3.30ish? Cause he gets here at 3.45. So I don't want him. There's a bus right there. It's 3.33. Yeah. Cause my, my youngest gets off the bus here any minute. I don't want him to be alone. Okay. Um, so my thing. I think he would be better off being alone than being alone with you, sir. Yes, I'm going to wait for a little bit. Okay. I mean, but, he should be here any minute. He, he's probably going which, right now. How, is it, you said Michael, right? Michael, yeah. Okay. Okay, so what I want to say here is the these are not our crimes, okay? See, guys like this who use the pronouns of she, her, and have done nothing to transition, just self-ID'd and wore a dress and a scrunchie. Um, these guys transition on purpose, okay, in order to prey on people, kids specifically. So when guys like this get arrested... For being pedophile, they are put into the system as women. When they're put into the system as women, the statistics all of a sudden raise when it comes to female pedophile. All of a sudden, you see this very strange uptick in females uh, attacking children. And that's disgusting because this is not a crime perpetrated by a female. They're perpetrated by men. And because they are respected enough to be put into the system as women and be called women and be put in women's prisons, all of a sudden, a strange uptake in female pedophilia happens. And it's all because these men self-ID into being female. And I find it atrocious that America allows these men to self-ID and to get female rights and to be put in female prisons and to be statistically known as female. And their, cr their crimes being specifically, statistically seen as a female crime. Women throughout history, statistically and just general knowledge, women don't commit these crimes at the rate men do.
it's a ridiculous difference in percentages. Women might commit, let's say, 1% of poverty crimes, and then men commit 95% of these crimes, 98% of these crimes. Now, when they become women, not only are they not looked at as predators, but <clears throat> children are told when they see these guys dressed as women to not be mean, not to judge them, and to be kind, which is what the wants. So he can get close to this child and not be looked at as a threat by the mother. If he were to have not worn that dress and identified as a woman, the mother would would be side-eyeing and looking at this guy like, why are you talking to my kid? But since he identifies as a woman, the mother drops her guard, and so does the child, because he's told to. And the next thing you know, we have victims, child victims of these men. And this needs to stop, because if it doesn't, I don't even want to know. But this has to stop. These are not our crimes. Women are not committing these crimes. Women are not raping women. These are men. Let's get it right and get back to fucking reality. Let's keep the men in the men's prisons regardless of how they look or identify. Let's keep men's crimes, men's crimes, regardless of how they look or identify. And maybe we should be looking a little bit more suspiciously at guys like this. Like and subscribe. And watch your kids.